Alrighty y'all, so here is what my kitchen looks like now. I love it so much. This was a really an unexpected uh, makeover. Was not really planned. It just happened so fast. So I'm not complaining. So here we are with the dining table. The dining table is still the same. Um, if you haven't been here, I did have a bar um, on that wall that we use with some bar stools. I decided I wanted to take that down and I wanted the traditional table because it just didn't feel right. So I went with this smaller table. This is a 36 inch round. I got this from Amazon. I love the table. It's really cute. I do plan on getting a rug to go underneath it, a round rug. But I actually found some chairs that I plan on redoing and maybe replacing these. Um, if you've been here with me for a while, I did have a big, beautiful um, dining set. It was farmhouse. And the chairs that I had then, I found a set of four, and I picked them up. And I'm going to redo them and maybe replace them. They are a bit bigger. They are heavier. They're more, you know, sturdy. I just love those chairs. They're just like my all-time favorite chairs, and I just had to have them. So... Whenever I was picking out these chairs, because I got these off Facebook Marketplace, um, I was really wanting those, and I couldn't find them. And I got these, and then I've been seeing them everywhere. I guess I should have waited, but it's okay. These are beautiful chairs. Um, I can um, find a new home for them, so it is no problem at all. So I cannot wait to redo those and bring them here. But everything else in here is still the same, y'all. I still have my spoon and fork. And let me fix that fork because it is going to drive me crazy. All right, now that looks a lot better. So um, I've been thinking about changing that decor up a little bit. But for right now, it's going to stay. But yeah, y'all. So this is what the dining area is looking like. I did place a plant there in the corner. Um, I still have that. Um, mirror there. I just love how this area looks but I cannot wait to redo the other chairs and then measure and get a rug and that I feel will complete this area. So moving on to this new addition to my kitchen. Now this y'all is a fruit potato bin and there is a guy I came across on market um, Facebook Marketplace. I'm always on Facebook Marketplace looking at stuff, y'all. <laughs> so um, I came across this, and he sells these. He hand makes them, and they're so, so, so cute. Um, they come unfinished, so you can stain it or paint it, whatever you like. And I decided to stain mine. It is actually the dark walnut, the same color, but different woods take stain differently so it is a bit darker which I love um, I currently don't have anything in it because it needs to cure before it is food safe for my um, veggies and fruits so that is going to be sitting there and I feel like it's just so cute all right so here's an overview of what the kitchen looks like I know it is different than what you've seen last I did record redoing this. It was just all sudden and really kind of uninspected. So here y'all, we um, did film how we redid this. I know I've had a lot of y'all ask if I was going to replace um, the countertops because they wanted to um, see how I did it so they could do it too. Um, I, I wasn't planning on redoing countertops, but I was planning on redoing that. I knew I was going to replace this right here. Um, so, of course, we couldn't just, um, we didn't know how to take off the countertop at first, so we decided to just go ahead with some new, and, um, I was all for it, and I missed having the wood. I did have the wood in my older mobile home that we used to live in, um, but this just came out even better. I feel like <laughs> the last mobile home we lived in and all the updates we did to that one, was just practice and this is just you know this came out so much better so of course I went in with the um, antique white instead of the white white now these top cabinets up here are the white white which I do not care for I will be replacing or repainting so this is the antique white I just like how it flows better we do plan on getting a piece of wood cut for right there so that's gonna hide some of the stuff for the dishwasher and right there as well now this spot's open, but my husband does plan on um, building me something. That way I can store some stuff in there, maybe put some baskets in there. Um, I do 
like this spot for some hand towels. I don't have a spot for hand towels. They're in my island. I plan on getting a basket for them, but I just, they're just sitting in there for right now, but that's what I plan on doing here. I just know I want my hand towels here. Um, I may get like a pull-out storage um, on wheels or something for right now until my husband can build it. Um, but yeah, y'all, that's what we got planned here. And I did have to get a new faucet. I like this one so much better. The other one um, you just pulled down from this part right here. But I like how the sprayer is there. I just like it so much better. And of course we replaced this as well. Um, the cabinets are still the same cabinets. We only took off the countertop and did the same thing. Now my husband wanted to replace all of the cabinets I said they're fine I could just paint them and we can use them no need to spend extra money y'all um, but his pet peeve was how it's sticking up a tad bit right here and it's you know flush right here so that's not really going to bother me um, I'm sure it bothers him <laughs> but it's fine it doesn't bother me that much so um, I'm okay with it and I'm glad that I was able to save some money and not have to replace cabinets um, just extra work too so we just took the counter countertop off put this countertop on these are so easy to do um, if you haven't seen the last video I'll have that link down below it's under my makeovers videos um, in the playlist and it shows you step by step of what we use we purchased this wood from Lowe's um, it already comes sanded and pre-cut it's just it's just so good I love it we use this in our last mobile home too but um, I have a video on that and also if you can tell I don't know if you've noticed or not but the brick looks a little different um, I decided to go ahead and do a German schmear on this brick wall um, I love it so much um, I do not like the cookie cutter look and that is what it was giving me even though I did give it the German schmear kind of look with white paint it's not the same it's not going to look the same um, even though it did look more realistic as far as the brick that I did this just looks even better I love it so much um, it looks real to me um, but it looks so good it just brings out more of that farmhouse look that I'm going for in my kitchen so I did this all um, in here in the kitchen and I and I did do all three sides and it just looks so good comment down below let me know what you think the German schmear I do have a video over it in case you want to see it I will go ahead and um, add this on at the end of the video so you can see how I achieved the the brick look the German schmear on the brick it's very easy and also y'all I have this new addition to my kitchen and this y'all it's so cute it is a pretty nice clock it is an a atomic wall clock I have it sitting on my counter it does come with three hanging holes or a bracket I just like it sitting on my counter now I may have it up there if I decide I don't want it on the counter anymore um, but yeah, if I feel like my counter is getting too cluttered, I do plan on redoing, you know, this area right here. So we will see. But for right now, I like it sitting on my counter. Um, it is powered by batteries. And it does do the indoor and outdoor temperature detection. Now, it does come with a, a little box that you get to sit outside and you pair with it. And it tells you the temperature outside. So it shows that outside right now it's 83 degrees and the um, humidity is 67%. And it also does the indoor temperature and it shows you um, that it's 76 degrees and a 70 percent temperature and it also shows you the date and the time I like that and I like having this right here y'all um, this one right here I don't know why but it never displays the time it's so weird and then I'm surprised this is actually showing the time but it's usually blinking because nobody stops it and I hate that so much so I like having this here I can just look in here and the time is just displayed nice for me and I like how big it is it's actually a 15 inch um, so I like that so much um, but yeah y'all it does set alarms too so you can have it um, 
set an alarm for you and all of that which I like so much so yeah this is a cute little clock here y'all I'm so excited to have this and if you want one of your own I will have the link down in the description box below y'all I have a code you can use jesse15 and that will give you $15 off your order but yeah y'all go and check them out and see if there's anything that you can find for your home you may stumble across something that you just have to have but yeah y'all this is what my kitchen looks like now I love it so much I still need to paint the top cabinets if you look you can see the difference I like how the bottom is a little more creamier and the whites just a little too white for me <laughs> I, I just miss having that cream creamier color so I'm so excited I decided to change that but I'm loving my new kitchen let me know down below what you think alrighty y'all so this is how my kitchen is looking now my next project is going to be my dining chairs I'm gonna go ahead and paint them and get them ready to be um, used in my dining room I hope it's it'll work out it may take up too much space but I think I love them so much that I'll just deal with it. <laughs> um, but yeah, y'all, I really am so happy. I love my kitchen so much. I love the brick wall. Um, it just looks so much better to me. I will also have a clip of how I do the German schmear in case anybody is interested in doing that to their own wall because I know a lot of y'all had want to do this faux brick method as well. So it's really, really easy, and all you do is you just go in with your joint compound. This is the same joint compound that I used, um, and you're just going to smear it over the bricks. You're just going to leave a little bit out, as you can see. Um, so that is what you do. You can leave a lot out. You can leave a little bit out, depending on how much brick you want to see um, after it's done. Um, do less. See how it is. Let it dry. It will dry completely white, and then determine, and if you need to add more, then add more. But thank you all so much for being here. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Comment down below and let me know what you think of my new kitchen. And I'll see you guys on the next one. All right. Bye, y'all. You put my favorite song on.